you are energy flowing until you crash, until you end. That's just kind of a feeling or some, or just kind of something that I got from maybe when I was watching, maybe when we were watching Journey to the Center of the Earth. Um, then we watched the second one, I think, in the same day. I think this was both yesterday. In fact, we kind of watched the second one twice yesterday, but didn't pay attention the whole time. But I think it was during the first one that just there's something about, or shoot, maybe it was the second one. I think it was the first one, but that I just kind of got this feeling of like, and maybe it's 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 perhaps because it's an adventure uh, movie, I be, and then so it just like, they're just maybe there's a risky situation or something. I think I think it it might have actually been the first one because it was because and I think it was because they were seeing beauty like. They're in difficult situations, but like on, like in that journey, there are points where they'd run into beauty and like, so it had, so I think it, it I would think it was the first one. Um, and there's just something about that that just kind of, I guess, made me feel like that. But you really have to, um, but then something that I kind of realized today, I think, is that you really have to know when to push in life and when to realize the walls that are around you and to not, so, and this is probably something that we've said in a previous video in this series, but like, you really, I don't know, I'm, that's I, that's what I kind of think, like, because it could be that by not just pushing all the time, you like lose your flavor. Your, but, but we also struggle a lot. So to know there's certain phrases, there's a couple of phrases that like or sayings, even though they're like popular sayings, we don't like like doing mainstream or whatever. But like the serenity prayer or whatever that has to do with like knowing what you have the power to change and knowing what you don't like. That, that overlaps with this idea of just of knowing what to push on and knowing what to accept, I guess. Or knowing what to push on and knowing what to, yeah, what to accept. Um, or to be able to recognize walls might be a way to put it instead of just... Um, so, yeah. And it seems like our brother has either accomplished something huge or is close to accomplishing, potentially accomplishing something huge. But I think he's got it in the bag. And we felt jealous of him before, but like... Like we, were, like, we were already struggling with jealousy before, but, like, but then we, there is, like, a spiritual moment that happened between, or, like, a deeper spiritual God-something moment that had, or moments, or whatever, last night between us, and that's interesting because, like, that's like, and it, that put me in like a power position as far as like wisdom or whatever, or offering something or teaching or whatever. And it wasn't like it was a deeper, like spiritual type thing. And that's like Joseph to a king because like he's on another like level now like like that's he, that's not even
but talking to him helped with the jealousy. Connecting with him helped with the jealousy. Um, and those moments were like we were really hitting with him, which is only by like the grace of God that like I was so fortunate to be able to sound like that or be like that to him. And that in turn could impact what, he, how he like, like he might even say something about me to like other family members maybe now, potentially off of that. And that is just off of God's grace. If that did happen. Cause we were de like, we were feeling jealous before <laughs> what he, what uh, we learned yesterday. Like, we, like, as part of the expression of that jealousy, we even, like, messaged at one point, like, I'll destroy you or something, I think. Some, like, some, maybe some weeks ago or something, or I don't know. Or maybe it was, in, maybe it was, like, I don't know, like, sometimes, sometimes in the last months or something. Um... And that's before, <laughs> before the level that he's got to yesterday. It almost makes a person forget like all the progress or like all the stuff that we've worked on. It just, it makes it seem like irrelevant, like it takes away from that. There are things that will, that will threaten to take away from all that all that you develop in life or all that you've learned IB and we've also reflected on that in this series and you have you got to find how to hold on to everything that you've learned but then also maybe this is something that could catapult us forward and we shouldn't be so stuck in where we are that we don't latch on to this challenge to strive to be to go to strive at a to strive to be to push forward to like, or try to get to where he's at or something. Maybe that's the right thing to do. Maybe the right thing to do is to just be well and where we're at. 